if you have a user that is struggling to gain access to a machine or has been disabled, the process is quite simple in order to recover them. Your user just needs to go to option two, uh, lost details or reset password. Enter their username. At that point, there are a few things to note. Number one, within your workstation policy, you could have set some FTE lost details help, which will appear as text uh, to help your users here. So as you can see from the workstation policy I set for Bob's PC, The FD lost details help text that I entered for the policy has been shown here at the FD lost details screen. Now, as administrators, we'll probably have quite a few machines to look through. The software generates a unique identification for each workstation that has been activated called the workstation ID. And here we can see this long number here. In order for the administrator to find the workstation, all they need to do is enter the workstation ID into the search box, which will narrow down the list of workstations. Once they have located the workstation, they can access the workstation details, FTE logins, choose the user who needs to be recovered, select recover, and then provide the recovery password for them. As you can also see, we do provide the phonetics in order to give the recovery password over to the user more effectively, especially if you're having to do this by, a, um, by phone. Once the recovery password has been placed in, the user then can continue and will be provided access to the workstation. Now that the user has entered their password at the Windows logon, the single sign-on process will automatically resync itself and the user may then reboot the machine to ensure that that has happened.
Now that the user has successfully recovered their password, the administrator can then update the recovery password for the user. Single sign-on has now successfully logged the user into their Windows account. And the desktop client will then receive the updated recovery and send a status back to the enterprise server saying that it has been successfully received. We can now see that the recovery index has been incremented by one. The user has received a new recovery password. And the status of the login is now okay.